this is your exclusive and inclusive. I'm here with my lovely wife, Reverend Naomi. We are delighted to bring to you Marriage Vitals. Hi everyone, we are excited to be here today yes. to bring you Marriage Vitals. We thank God for your lives, so we thank you for taking the time to watch us once again. Yes. Let us pray. Thank you, Father Lord, for this opportunity once again to bring Marriage Vitals, Father, to your people. Please come and have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Beloved, to check the vital signs of a human body is to check the pulse rate, the body temperature, and the blood pressure. Think of your marriage as the human body. Yes. It has to be well maintained to keep it from breaking down. The purpose of marriage vitals is to focus on monitoring the vital things that makes your marriage flourish. Sure Today does. our topic is importance of wedding rings. Huh? Importance you... of wedding rings. It... Now, mm -hmm. Some people don't see the importance of wearing their wedding ring for different reasons. Okay. Some don't wear it because they think their spouse knows they love them. And that uh, should be uh, okay. Uh, so they don't need uh. the ring, right? <laughs> and some don't wear it because they think their spouse is aware of their commitment to their relationship. Therefore, there is no need for the ring to be on their finger now some don't wear it because when they step out of the house they want the world to see them as single even though they are married right and therefore they take off their rings so that people will think they are still on the market oh boy so the question today the uh -huh. question of uh -huh. the day bring it out bring it out <laughs> <laughs> the question of the day today is is it important to wear your wedding ring is it important? Matua <laughs> mouth. <laughs> you see, oh, she, 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 she's she's she's. When we pick this up, this topic, um, I knew she was coming after me. <laughs> I'm not coming after you, but yeah, matua mouth. Let me see your finger. Exactly. <laughs> Show them yours. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> topic ready right for you. <laughs> the the question that you 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 um. You brought out the first the first question. What was it? The, there's only one question. Uh -huh. The topic is importance of wedding ring. Okay. The question of the day okay. is, is it important to wear your wedding ring? Uh-huh. Yeah, we, we will address that. I know I know I'm not wearing mine. We'll get to that part of it. Like I always <laughs> say, we're gonna expand it, we're gonna contract it. And I know my wife is on me today, but <laughs> I'm not on you. <laughs> I will defend myself and defend others out there. Ayish. Importance of the wedding ring. Rev, I know you've thrown a very, very important question, but that question will be answered down, 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 down. Take your time, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we have all day. <laughs> Viewers, um, importance of the wedding ring. The ring is a symbol of respect. It is. For your spouse. Mm -hmm. The ring is a symbol of respect for your spouse. Respect in marriage. Well, there's no way we, we, we come back to respect because we, we treated respect before. Respect in marriage is communicated constantly. Since marriage is a constant relationship, marriage that you have out there, marriage that we have out here, it's a constant relationship. So respect is one of the key things. And the ring, it's a symbol that shows that respect. So married couples, when you are wearing your ring, it shows the respect between the two of you. That is why that ring is out there for us. The ring is one simple way to communicate that respect. Especially when your spouse has asked you to wear it. <laughs> because she always asked me to wear it. But this is, this is something that the two of you came together during your marriage ceremony. The vow that you took. You spoke some words, but there was a vow, there was a symbol, and the symbol was the ring. I want, I want, I want, to, I want, to, I want to throw you a question before I answer yours. Before you throw me a question, I want to talk about, I want to add something to what you said about respect. Oh, okay. Because it's important. Mm -hmm. It is. You know, and we talk a lot about respect on our program. Why? Because respect is paramount, it's important. Mm -hmm. It is needed in the marriage. And respect is appearing here too in this conversation oh, sure. regarding the wedding ring because it's not just when you control your tongue that you are showing respect to your spouse, right? Respect must be 
applied oh, yes. in every aspect of the marriage, right? When you don't wear your wedding ring, you are keeping the marriage a secret. Yes, you are, you are telling the world that you are single. Keeping your marriage a secret is disrespectful to your spouse. If you wear your wedding ring, it signifies respect to your spouse and to God, right? Yes. Every time you put that ring down, you are disrespecting God and you are disrespecting your spouse. And every time you put a ring on, you are not only showing respect to the spouse, but what? You are showing commitment. You are showing that you are respecting the commitment you made before God. You see? And you are also reassuring your spouse that you took that bond okay. seriously. Yeah. So wearing your wedding ring uh -huh. is your way of proving to God that you intend to keep and to honor the marriage covenant you yes. made before him. Yes. Right? And I'll talk about marriage covenant in a minute. But yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Yes. We, we have a lot to discuss because t today, you see me, I'm not wearing my ring. Yeah. And Reverend is hitting me with all the all the pointers. But do you know how many how many <laughs> debates we've had about this topic? <laughs> yeah. You just made a point over here, but I just I just want to go back to the basics, right? Okay. Before before we marry. There's a vow that we, we, we give at the at the at the ceremony. Yeah. I want you to take key note of this word, give. <laughs> okay. Give. And I'm, 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 I'm just going to read one that, a vow that almost 80% of people say. Okay. Say, Naomi, hmm. today, I, Kwame. Are we getting married all over again? <laughs> no, no, we're not. I'm, I'm, I just I'm want just you to kidding. understand. Go ahead. Naomi, mm -hmm. today, I, Kwame, I give you this ring as a reminder that I will love, honor, mm -hmm. and cherish you. Okay. You want me to repeat it in a very nice way? <laughs> no, go on. <laughs> Naomi, I call me today. I give you. Take note of that give. Mm -hmm. I give you this ring mm -hmm. as a reminder that I will love, I will honor, I will cherish you. Okay. In all times, mm -hmm. in all places. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the point I want to make over here is that mm -hmm. I give you. Mm -hmm. When you give somebody, it doesn't tell or determine where that ring is supposed to go. You said, I give you as a reminder. Uh -huh. So wearing the ring is a reminder yeah. of that covenant. Mm -hmm. And while you are making that vow, mm -hmm. you made it, Malachi 2.14, right? Okay. Reminds us that God himself witnessed the marriage covenant that you made to your spouse mm -hmm. on your wedding day. Yes. While you are saying all these vows, you were making these vows, right, before God. That is a marriage covenant. That is true. As a reminder, I'm not taking that a away. Keyword. I'm not taking that so away. So it doesn't matter whether your marriage is customary or yes. ordinance. What matters is that you made a covenant yeah. before the Almighty God, and that covenant must be taken seriously. Baby, <laughs> no, we, we're gonna. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna you present know, my case. I'm laughing because we've had this debate like forever, and now it's finally here see, on the program. Our viewers, <laughs> the meaning of most vows is mm -hmm. that ring serves as a reminder and a symbol of the promise of the relationship exactly it serves what as a reminder mm -hmm. as a symbol okay right it doesn't tell you that you have to put it on as your a finger symbol. see you keep bringing yourself symbolic yes. it's symbolic there we go that you wear your that's <laughs> the <laughs> symbol he I've, lost I've, it he <laughs> finally found it i was gonna get there you lost it no no he lost this ring can you imagine my husband? I still say, have it. Yeah, sure. My husband would say, you know what? I'm allergic to ring, so I can't wear my ring because if I wear it, my skin will peel off, really. Because the reason the reason why And after a while you let it go because it's not worth fighting over. No, no, but no. seriously, it's no. symbolic. Your own word. Yes. yes. Symbolic because I, symbolic. I cherish it and it's, I have it on me. It's symbolic where you are telling God that look, mm -hmm. I love I made a covenant before you, Almighty God. I love I love my wife, I love my husband, yes. and therefore I'm keeping this on. No, no nowhere I'm in the Bible says it. that you have to put it on. The Bible doesn't specifically say put it on, but uh -huh. The Bible does remind you, I said in Malachi yes. 2.14, that, that you, made, I still have you it. made a covenant yes. with that marriage. Mm -hmm. You promised. And okay. this is the symbol of that promise. Therefore, yeah. it doesn't come off. 
That is why it's important, baby. Okay. That you wear your ring. <laughs> Let me take you to the biblical part of it because that, that's what supports what we do. You see, I'm holding my ring. I haven't lost it. Mm -hmm. It's a symbol. That a symbol which is supposed to be exposed to the world. I will explain that part later. Okay, I'm yeah. listening. Open I can't wait. Crowd do. I'll explain <laughs> that <laughs> part later. Yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> in the biblical time right uh -huh. rings were given as an honor mm -hmm. whether you wear it on your finger or on your, in your nose it's an honor mm -hmm. you see when you, you read the old testament and all even uh -huh. the new testament the kings or mm -hmm. a father would give a son a yeah, ring I'm to listening. symbolize all those things I'm listening. when you look at um the look look 15 22 it tells you right about what the honor is, mm. why the, 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 the symbol as a ring we, we wear on our finger or we wear it on, on our nose or wherever you keep it. Sometimes they'll put it as a, a stamp on something to show that this, this, um, this note is coming from the king, okay. it's coming from someone. Okay. So now that I've made my point, is it, is it um, disrespectful to not wear your ring? It is disrespectful. First of all, let's go back. When Abraham's servant found Rebecca for Isaac, okay. he gave her a nose ring, right? Yes. Nose ring, right? Mm -hmm. In Genesis chapter 24, verse 22. When you go back down to Genesis, no, Jeremiah 22, 24, right? Okay. Jeremiah informs us that Israelites wore the signet ring on their right hand okay. right okay now let's go back down today i've opened pharaoh, a can of worms yes you have and we are going to go through it <laughs> <laughs> pharaoh gave his signet ring to joseph as a symbol mm -hmm. of authority genesis 41 42 yeah, but, but okay none of this none of these things require none of this had to do with marriage Okay. But hold on. That is that's what Rebecca, I was saying. Rebecca, when the servant gave the ring to her, the nose ring, it wasn't the servant that was marrying her. Okay. It was to choose her, right? That to be the wife for Isaac. So none of these scriptures, right, goes with what we are talking about. Okay. However, now the prodigal son, mm -hmm. when he went back home, he also received a signet ring. Yes. From his father as a symbol of dignity and honor. Uh -huh. So the Romans the Romans created the signet, they, they brought the signet ring into betrothal, okay. right? So now, and then the Jews and the Christians also kind of took the idea. Right. And that's why when people get married, they put on the ring. Now, the, the wedding ring, uh -huh. right? The wedding ring itself. Where right in the Bible? Came into use in Christian ceremonies, right? Okay. All the way back in the ninth century AD. Okay, came to be used. Right. So the custom of wearing a wedding ring on the fourth finger also happened because they had this idea, this romantic idea, oh, right? Yeah. That the, 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 <laughs> the, the left, the fourth finger, the mm -hmm. artery from the fourth finger flows directly to your heart. Oh, okay. And that's why. So first of all, none of this, the, the, what you said about the signal ring has nothing to do with the, the, why you have to keep your ring on. And it's a symbol. The, the, the okay, fourth now, finger. Bef the, uh -huh. the fourth finger. Before we go, yes. Is it biblical? It's just a... Uh, oh, it's a, not... It's a social thing. <laughs> it's called the vein of love. It's right. not biblical. Okay. It's Great. something that the, the Egyptians, when they, the Romans, mm -hmm. the Romans adopted, okay. right? And decided that this is what they want to do when they get married. And at the world, the Christians, we also... We went ahead and took the idea mm -hmm. and we also started wearing the ring but so if you put the ring on your fourth finger right according to them yes the actually flows directly to your heart by the way so that's another thing that helps you love your spouse more by, by the way you, your ring looks beautiful on you no, <laughs> look keep, at keep don't change it. the topic <laughs> um but today on marriage vitals yes we, we're talking about the importance now, of the ring before you continue i just want to say something whether you are a married man or woman Wearing your wedding ring is not a requirement. Thank you. Not so, not so fast. Okay. But it is necessary. All right. That it I is understand. necessary mm -hmm. because the wedding ring serves as a reminder, as I've said earlier, yeah. of the covenant you made to your spouse, mm -hmm. not before people. We don't let's just say we don't care about people, right? Yeah. But before God. God yes. 
The people are there, but before God, that's what matters. So, no. the, so wearing the wedding ring is the, the wedding ring is worn as a symbol of okay. your unending commitment to the marriage. You, right. you can't keep it in your pocket. You can't keep it in your jewelry box. You can't hide it. It shows that you are serious about that commitment. That it is. It is an indication to the whole world, right? Okay. The people that don't know, they did not. The, everybody attended your wedding. They don't know you are married. So this wearing your ring is an indication to the whole world that you are officially if, off the market. If I open my mouth and <laughs> tell someone I'm married, case closed, or it's in my no, heart. No, 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 no. See, that's see, 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 see. That is the mistake some people make. It is not in your heart. And, uh, if you, if it's it. gonna stay in your heart, then you shouldn't have gotten married. No. Okay. Why? Why? You and I are together. Okay. We are not married. Mm -hmm. We love each other. All right. I know you love me. You know I love you. Mm -hmm. I know you are committed to me. You know I'm committed to you. Why don't we just stay like that? Why do we? Why is it necessary to no, get married? No, no. You, you're not. You're not getting my Please, point. No, hold on. Let once you get married, once you take that huge, honorable step, holy step, because marriage is holy. It's not something you do just for the, you know, fun. Just because everybody is getting married, let me get married. Okay. Once you get married before the Almighty God, it's a covenant yes. witnessed by God. Therefore, your wedding ring must be won. Your wedding ring is your way of proving to God again that you intend to keep that promise you have made. That That is... That is, I'm, I'm not, I'm not disputing that. You are disputing. No, 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 that. I'm not disputing. What I'm disputing is, you see, I have my ring. Yeah. Yep. Where was it? It was in the jewelry box. <laughs> yeah, jewelry box. Yeah. It should. It, that's what I'm saying. That's my point. No, 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 no. No, I'm, I'm, I'm staying on this topic because a lot of men and women out there are in the same league with you, and so that's a problem. Okay, not wearing your wedding ring, mm -hmm. right? You are misleading okay. the people around you. You are misleading the world because you are bringing a chaos into the single world. Not every single person out there wants to date a married man or a married woman. Yeah. <laughs> so it makes it hard for people who don't know you to personally, to know the truth about you that you are married, right? And many single people out there will see you as a prospect. That's why it's important to wear your ring. I like where you're coming from. Mm. If you're out there and... Um, if you want to date somebody or marry someone, mm. the first question you ask that person is, let me, let me give you a skit right here. Nice. Maybe I don't know. Hey, um, beautiful one. You're looking hey, beautiful. beautiful let's, say, <laughs> let's say you don't have a ring on, right? Uh -huh. um, are you married? First of all, first of all, there, first of all, there's a pause right there. Okay. If you are not wearing a ring, not, not many people will ask you, are you married? If you are not wearing that is a ring, the dating part. But when no. you're about to, you're if about you to marry. If you meet a woman or a man, and you are, if if you're a woman and you meet a man, let me use myself as an example. When I was single, and I, I always had my my friends and I, we had a, a fake ring in our purse. Mm -hmm. If we if a guy approaches us or you see a guy approaching us, and we don't like the guy, first thing we do is slip the ring on. So the minute they approach you, they see the ring and they are like, oh, oh you're actually, are you are you happily married? That is why they ask you that question. <laughs> yeah. But or they or they or they leave you alone altogether. Okay. Because not like because, I said, not, not every the single respect person. respect is there. Thank you. The respect. respect. Yes, the respect is there. And not every no. single person wants to marry Babe. or date somebody Babe, who you're, is you're, taken. You are not getting my point, right? Uh huh. I don't. I don't disrespect the ring. I respect the ring. And put it on. But I'm telling you that it doesn't have to go on your finger. Yes, it does. You can keep it wherever you want yes, to keep it. Yes, it does. Now you ask me if it's biblical. First Samuel chapter 16 verse 7 mm -hmm. tells us that according to uh, uh, God, he said man looks at the outward appearance, okay. but God looks at the heart. Now, for example, let me give you an example too, since you gave me one. You're not giving me a chance if to explain myself. I will. If a man or woman mm -hmm. sees the opp opposite sex, right, Okay. without a ring on the finger they assume that that person is single all right then they start a friendship in with, with that person with the intention i'm single you are not wearing a ring i like you right so i'm um, you think we are friends but i'm thinking mm, this is friendship but i have the intention of hopefully 
turning that friendship into something else. I want, so, I want you to help me out here. Uh, since no, you, you're, you're not letting me finish. I, I, I quoted that for, for a reason. I know because um, you, you're taking me inside of, into the biblical part and I wanted to... Right, uh, but I want to... Okay. okay, go ahead. I just want to say, I want to finish it so that the viewers will understand where I'm coming from. All right, I'll give you the chance. Thank you. So, we start a friendship because mm -hmm. you thinking, you know you're married. Okay. I don't know you're married because your, your finger tells me you are available. Mm -hmm. We start a friendship. And you don't have any intention of really cheating on your wife. Okay. I don't have intention of you making you cheat on your wife because I don't know you are married. Okay. You are not wearing a ring. So me, I'm thinking, okay, we are friends, but I would love this friendship to become something more. Okay, am I guilty if it becomes something more? No, because I don't know. Are you guilty before the Almighty God? Yes, because I saw your outward appearance that you are single. Nothing here. This finger is naked. And you know yes, you are married now. You go into it with me, and now you've caused me to fall. But the Bible says we shouldn't cause, uh, the, the, uh, Romans 14, 13, wants us against causing another believer to stumble and fall. You've made me fall. Now, let's say you are, you are a faithful husband, okay. right? And you don't want to, you don't, even if I try, you mm -hmm. don't do it. Now, you've broken my heart. You've hurt me. I don't know you are married. Maybe I come to find out you are married the entire time, and you've wasted my time. You've messed me up as a single person, mm -hmm. right? You've broken my heart. How are you helping the single nation who don't necessarily want to marry somebody's husband or somebody's wife okay. by not wearing the ring? So it is, in a way, biblical. All right. So, to defend myself. <laughs> not yourself. I said it's not for your purpose. I'm uh, talking about yeah, defend people the, who the, have the same of, mentality, the mentality as you. Yeah. Because we want to help them understand the yes. importance Do of wearing the ring. Do you think... When you wear the ring, it deters a lot of um, a lot of people coming to ask you out. Uh uh, it, it, it deters to some extent. Uh -huh. Some people. That's why I said not every single person is interested in marrying uh, or dating somebody who is married. Okay. There are people who don't care. I've had people with they see this ring and they still say, "Are you happily married?" I'm like, "Are you for real?" <laughs> Whether I'm happily married or not, I am married, right? Mm -hmm. There are some people who don't care whether you are happily married okay. or not. If you allow them, they'll take advantage. The, so the, the ring doesn't stop you from infidelity. No, no way. The, the reason why I'm doing that, society is changing a lot of things. Uh -huh. Now, women wear these rings just for fashion, right? Uh -huh. And, um, That's what I said. We did that before. Yeah. If only if you want to. No, I a just, woman I does just, that only to only if they want the guy, whoever is coming yeah. to leave them alone. I just want you to understand that the world is changing. Okay. So let me take you back into the Old Testament phrase okay. before we come come to the present world right now. Okay. Abraham. Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. Reverend. Abraham, when he was traveling to a, a, a city or a town, mm -hmm. that he knew that. Um, he wanted to survive in there. Mm -hmm. He introduced his wife. Those days, there, weren't, there, there were no rings. There were no rings on the finger to show that, oh, I'm married to this person. So mm -hmm. he kind of lied to a king that, oh, this is my sister. Mm -hmm. And the Almighty God revealed himself to the king to let the king know that the woman that he's taken is married. Okay. Okay. Maybe at that time, I didn't know they had a symbol to, to, to show that we, we are lucky yeah, that they, in this present world we have this symbol. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, this symbol here, I respect it. I've kept it since the day that we got married. When you gave it to me, I cherish it. Uh -huh. I wear it uh -huh. occasionally. Occasionally, that yes. is the problem. Because I'm allergic to ring. No, rain. you are not allergic to ring. You know what, the funny thing, <laughs> the funny thing is, in the beginning, I actually believed that story. But at the same time, he told me he was allergic to watches, right? I bought that too. And then, Baby, did, as you, the, did you hear the me, word occasionally? Let me tell them, as the years went by, I realized that, wait a minute, my husband is not allergic to watches. He has three watches. In fact, he has more than three watches. So he changes the watches. <laughs> and number, so I asked myself, Kwame, do I you tell me you're allergic to watches? You see, I'm not even wearing and then, a watch. This is yeah. the excuse. Oh, I wear it sometimes, occasionally. Yes, That's his favorite word. Yes. Then I went to the ring. I said, Kwame, you are not allergic to rings. Because I see you, in fact, he didn't even want those wristbands that are made for guys. 
but now he wears them. Yeah. So occasionally, my husband, you are, if you are allergic to something, occasionally, occasionally wouldn't be a thing. You wouldn't no, even wear I, it. I want, I want our viewers to understand <laughs> that the, the ring is a symbol. You have to respect that. You have to keep it. And what, no, not keep it. It has to stay on your finger. Yeah, that is why I'm proving my point right When you right got here. married, where did you put it? In your oh, pocket? Oh, yes. You put it on my finger. And yes, and you put this. So if I didn't... Yeah, but... I, I, just hold I, I a minute. A <laughs> You put it on I, my finger. I forced you. No, it's because, exactly. because that was that was the norm of I, the day. I didn't force you. The moment we got home, I took it okay, off. Okay, let's assume, for argument's sake, that yes. was the norm of the day. What about the renewal? The renewal. Yes. Because the symbol is something that has become the norm, norm, norm of the society. <laughs> well, right, judge, let's, judge. let's move on. Listen. It's I respect a, the uh, ring. You know, it's important to wear the wedding ring. Wedding ring no, is not meant for a bottom and now jewelry box. And now uh, a cupboard, a, a, a cabinet, be as it. And now dressing mirror. So it is meant to be on your finger. On certain, or certain ring, of course, on that steel. I understand. Say, if you are not doing, be a way, you know. Yeah, I do my hands on. You know, literal. You say in something all the time. And when you put your hands on, after work, you put it right back on. Yeah, important. You've made your point. You won. It's gonna go on. Okay. Ready me that's it. Occasionally, it will <laughs> Not come out occasionally. sometimes. Okay, let me make a, let, me, let, let me make a point here. What does it mean when a married man takes off his wedding ring? I'm, 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 sometimes when I throw the question, I answer it myself. What does it mean <laughs> when we take off our wedding ring? You didn't answer my question. You're asking your question. Yes. Is it important? That's a uh -huh. question of the day. The viewer. It is important. Uh, yeah. But thank you. My thing is, no, it's, it's 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 between the two of you. No, no, no. No, no there no. are some people who are like. You know uh, what? You just said it uh, uh, due, due to work, no. work habit or work situation. Or uh, you wear it when you get to work, you take it off. Or you, when you come home from work, you take, put it on. Now you are not working twenty four seven. Okay. There's, Your question. You know no. the funny thing. Yeah. In fact, something. Some couples. Listen, you can ask your wife. Maybe I don't feel comfortable wearing the ring oh, for whatever God. reason. And they might say okay, but yes. they are not okay. Eventually, no. That's the bomb waiting yeah. to explode. One day, when you have a serious argument, you testify to this. They will tell you, they will call you up on the fact that you are not you don't even wear your ring. You don't love me. You don't respect me. You don't care about it. That, the commitment you that made is, to me. That is a problem. It is a problem. That is a problem because wear your that, ring. Means, that means your your love and everything is. I mean, yeah, is some based people can ring. wear their ring and still cheat. Oh, but yes. that is a secondary matter. That's for a whole program. Reverend, this, Reverend, today I want, you Reverend, need I want, to wear I want people, your rings. I, I want people to understand that the ring is not what makes you love each other. No, it's not. But like we said, it's symbolic. Yes. It signifies respect. Mm -hmm. It oh. honors the commitment you made before the Almighty and God. Or by you. No, listen. If you make a commitment, no, seriously, the Bible says, if you make a promise, mm -hmm. a vow okay. to God, you have to honor it. You made a vow before God, you have to honor it. Okay. When you get married, it doesn't matter how you got married. If you went to court, if you had a wedding, if it was traditional marriage, you are married. And you did it before the Almighty God. Even if two people were there, God was there also. Right? Okay. So you have to respect that. Even if, listen, you can't tell your wife or your husband, you know I love you, you know I care, therefore it's okay. It's not okay. <laughs> The, the, the words that I've given to you is what you are bringing on this show. <laughs> and they were, she, she, she's prepared for me. Uh, no, no I'm, pre I, I, I'm I, not I, I, prepared for you. I mean, prepared for you. The, I understand the goal that. of this this ministry is to help the married couples. Out there. Yes. there are people who think like you when it comes to this, uh, this topic. And there are some people who are worse than you. Yeah. Uh, and they have different reasons. So we have to make sure that we answer that question. I had a question. Them. I said, what does it mean when a married man takes off his wedding ring? Okay. Um, Tell us. Exclusive. <laughs> Catch you, Catch majority you. of it is he's cheating. Yeah. Something. Although a ring doesn't make him faithful, I can put on my ring, it's or you can true. put your own ring. It doesn't make you faithful. Mm -hmm. But it's how we respect each other. Yeah. As we said earlier, mm -hmm. understanding. Yes, there are several days that I don't wear my ring. My wife doesn't like the idea, but I always explain to her that it's not because of the ring. Sometimes I feel awkward, you know, and I feel like my hand is about to hit something. But I have kept, how many years now? It's, if you have been, been wearing been... this ring from the day we got married and kept it on, by now you've gotten used to it. In the beginning, I also didn't feel comfortable wearing it. Oh. I'm sure some of these women and men out there will say the same thing. But right. if you keep wearing it, you get used to it. I... And without it, like right now, when I take it off, I feel like I'm naked. 
feel like I've lost, I forgot something. I need to go back and get yes, it. Yes, that's why I love you for wearing it. <laughs> you Keep need to wear up. yours. It is important to wear your ring. And today, <laughs> I put my ring on. Very important. I've kept it so many years and, and, and I do wear it. Wedding rings are so personal. Mm -hmm. And they say so much. They are a symbol of vows you have spoken. We very rarely have the opportunity in life to give our vow. Marriage is a sacred in many ways. It is sacred, yeah, it's holy. One of them is the vow. Mm -hmm. The other one is the ring. And when married couples, when you wear the ring, the ring constantly reminds you of the vows that you made. It constantly reminds you of the love, the, the bond that you have for each other. Oh, it does. So the ring is very important to wear because it deters a lot of us from getting into an encounter that you don't want to be there. Because people that respect the ring, they, when they see the ring, they won't even approach you. Yeah, yeah, some people who will never date somebody who is married. Yep. And it has become affiliated with our, our normal life. Yeah. So wearing the ring is very important. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's one, one sacred thing that the two um, spouses or the two couples come together I mean, to understand. That's what shows that you are married. A vow is, uh, is, is way more than a promise. The vow that we take, that's so earlier I said, I give to you this ring. That right. was a vow. As a reminder. Yeah. We must consider deeply. We must consider deeply and know our hearts truly before we take such a, yeah. uh, a step. The was saying, rings are more than a reminder. <laughs> oh, minim <laughs> sana. Sometimes, no, it's not. Oh, sometimes. Some uh -huh. people do have allergic things and, or, uh, you know. I mean. So if you really, if you are really allergic to it, I'm sure by now your spouse will know that yep. for sure. You, you are not allergic to it. I have, I've been, <laughs> I've been watching. Rings are more than a reminder. They are reassurance when times are hard. So today, I just put my ring back on to reassure you because times has been hard for you. <laughs> They, oh, that's funny. <laughs> yes, we really are loved and do love deeply. They are a constant celebration of love and its magic possibilities. <laughs> but my brother, my sister out there, if you are watching us today, I just wanted to let you know, we came to let you know, Marriage Vitals, that rings are important. Oh, yeah. Wedding rings are important. Mm -hmm. And we have to wear them to reassure our love, to remind us of a lot of things that we have discussed earlier. On Marriage Vitals, as we always say, we come here to rekindle, to reassure, to help, to have healthy marriages, to have marriages that ha brings happiness and joy with, among us. That is why th the importance of the ring is very, very vital for you to wear. Wow, I thank you, Jesus. I'm happy to hear him say that. <laughs> Beloved, as I mentioned earlier, Bible shows us in Malachi 2.14, that you made a covenant mm -hmm. before to your spouse before God the day you got married and when you make a promise to God when you make a promise with God as a witness you have to keep that promise that's true that marriage covenant cannot and should not be kept a secret but when you don't wear your wedding ring, you are keeping your marriage covenant a secret to the rest of the world. <laughs> and that will not sit well with God. Whatever your reason is for not wearing your wedding ring, please, I implore you to reconsider. Like I did. Stop it. <laughs> By not wearing your ring, you are also telling the world that you are available for the taking and you are breaking your promise to God. Yes. So please wear your wedding ring and keep it on, not occasionally, at all times. That I can promise. <laughs> May God continue to bless you and your marriage. Let us pray. Father, we are grateful. Another opportunity has been given to us by you. Yes, Lord. Father, to share the importance of wedding ring with our friends out there. You have spoken through us and we believe that they have heard us 
And we believe that the fruits you have planted in their hearts, through the words you spoke to us, Father, is going to yield fruits. We thank you. We bless you. We soak all the marriages out there in the blood of Jesus. Bless every marriage. Those that watch us every day and those yes. that don't even know we exist. Bless them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. If you give God control over your marriage, together, together you, you can, can survive, survive anything. anything. Thank you so very much for once yes. again taking the time to watch us, Marriage Vitals. If God permits, we'll bring it to you again next week, Tuesday. May the Almighty God continue to bless you. Remember, stay safe and prayerful. Let's go. Me wearing my wedding ring today makes it conclusive. Alongside the First Lady, let me see your ring. <laughs> That's the importance of the wedding ring. Bye-bye. <laughs>